Hello everybody, happy Sunday and we are Sunday the 20th of December so not too long to go uh, It's lovely and sunny today, we've already been out uh, went down to uh, where the spa theatre is and uh, I thought I'd take Nelson on the beach down there thought it would be quiet, got there for hill, hill, 11 got there for 11am uh, packed out, absolutely packed out, didn't feel comfortable oh cracker Right, you hold it. I think you hold them in the wrong place. Hold it there. Hold it in that bit. You're holding it over there and that's probably why I win. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I've still won. <laughs> oh dear. Shut up, Catherine. <laughs> what do I know? Oh no. Oh no, another... Oh, it's a tree it's this a tree time. This time. Oh, actually... Yeah, we've got two bells and a tree. I might uh, see if I can do a bit of stamping. Oh, did it make you jump, Nelson? It made the boy jump. Hello, darling. Hello. He's a bit messy. He's a bit messy. He's been snaffling on the sea front. Needs a bath. Needs a bath for Christmas. Go on then. See you later, alligator. Off you go. No joke today, David. Oh dear. But anyway, oh, it's, oh, it's here. Falling out, I didn't see that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what do acrobats like to drink? Oof. I don't know, go straight for the juggler. Um, can't think of one. Straight for the juggler? Yeah. No, they don't drink him. <laughs> can't you think? No, I've got me thinking at Tom at the moment. Anything in the tumbler? All right. Whoa. Whoa. Boom tish. <laughs> They're getting worse. Oh. They're getting worse. They're fun though, aren't they? We've had some fun with them. Um, I might have a go at making some biscuits. I haven't made biscuits for years. Ooh. Might have a go with that. We'll see. Okay then, guys. It's a quickie today. Sunday. I've mostly done it. Okay, where's my... From Karina, Nutcracker, Elves and Nativity Scene. Um, so, I've got my Nutcrackers there. I've coloured them in. Uh, I'd love actually to go and see the Nutcracker Ballet. Um, I've not seen that. And I think that'd be, be lovely to go and see it when we're allowed out again. There's all my, I think, you know, we will really appreciate things that we did as normal. I think we'll appreciate being able to go to the theatre and the ballet and and things like that, as well as, you know, obviously seeing relatives and that. But yeah, I think we took a lot for granted. So I've made a little tuck with that. I've done a little bit of, uh, that's a bit, seems a bit loose. It's just a bit of collage on there and I put some collage strips down. So what I've done here is I've made, <laughs> look at these elves, cute. So I've made a journaling card, so that's one journaling card to go in there. And then the I liked this one, this is just things that I've printed off Pinterest and I've backed it with some nice paper there. And then I liked this little greetings to our friends at Christmas and kind wishes for all the joy the season brings. And uh, yeah, so that's tucked in there. So uh, I've got my number 20 on already. And then on this side, I, I thought I better leave a little bit of writing space just to write in that we went down to the spa uh, and it was a lovely day. The Spa Theatre is a lovely old theatre. Not that long, uh, well, I don't know, probably five or six years ago they refurbished it. And it's from Victorian times. For those of you, of you that don't know, Scarborough was the first seaside town um, in the UK. In, in Europe. Oh, David says in Europe, in Victorian times. So those that could afford used to come on the trains and they used to promenade along mm -hmm. the we've got the esplanade and they used to promenade along there and they used to go to the spa um theater 
and also we have got the Grand Hotel. Now it's a shame it's uh, it's still used as a hotel but it's uh, it needs a bit of TLC really they're not looking after it as well as they should and it's in the shape of a V so it was built for Queen Victoria in Victorian times for people that had money to to come and visit Scarborough and it's actually in the shape of a V and uh, yeah so I thought I'd just give you that little bit of information about where we live okay so we've got a bit of nativity scene here and this little manger is nestling away in it's in middle of Sherwood Forest not Bethlehem Sherwood Forest and we've got a bit of foliage to keep it private and uh, yeah it's uh, I'm glad we've not got many we've only got four more to go in because it's struggling a bit okay and then in this one I've got a manger there we've got this up this manger is actually in Bethlehem and so I've done a bit of uh, uh, stamping of Bethlehem and the houses all around uh, in Bethlehem and then you know they go off to the manger which is uh, out of town we've got some stars I've got a, a, a nice little frill there to represent the stars and I've got my nutcracker and uh, for the elves I've got a lovely little elf there that's hanging up the stockings for all the other uh, elves so they can have their presents and then this <laughs> I like this it made me smile so I've made a bit of a Christmas booklet out of that with some uh, paper I had left over and put a bit of a uh, a frill on the top and they go in there nicely so not too much going on not too too can't talk today not too intricate but uh yeah i think it does the job and uh look at this away in a manger fancy turning it over and the way in the manger is the next page so all that could be classed as the 20th couldn't it um, I think it will and I think that would work nicely so I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm gonna rip that out. there we go oh says David yeah lovely so all we need to do now is pick tomorrow's pick tomorrow's hope you're all having a decent weekend we uh, oh yes that's what I forgot to tell you we had a big news conference last night. Boris was back on the box. Uh, well, I think he should have done this all together. They've now locked down the, the uh, whole of London and put them into a tier four, which is a new tier. They've locked the whole of London, uh, Kent, South East. Um, they're not even allowed to um, spend any time bubble up. So it's a bit upsetting, really, because my dad will be on his own um, he bubbles up usually with my sister and my brother-in-law and um, as from midnight last night he nobody can go and see any of their relatives at all and then they've reduced the rest of us to which wasn't affecting us really because i think they should have reduced it for everybody i think they should be honest we've got this virulent new strain that's running rife in london and the uh, southeast and obviously they're not saying this but i being a nurse I, I understand they don't want it to spread out of control because our vaccines are for the original strain and not for this new new mutated one they'll have to make some adjustments and so yeah, I think it's right that they're doing that. So everybody in all the other tiers can just have uh, one day of celebrations and really limit who they can have. Right, I've got this. But uh, yeah, I think, um, you know, it's been a bit of struggle for my dad. He's, he's done very well for 84, uh, but he's getting rather fed up with it. And I think he was looking forward to going to my sister's you know at least for Christmas Day to have Christmas Day lunch um, so yeah it's a bit dire but I agree with it they need to do it and I know there's a lot of people moaning oh it spoilt our Christmas well 
it should have been done a bit earlier perhaps i think you know i think we have to think of all those that haven't made it right sorry sorry but that's what's happened here so we're all feeling a bit dour uh, nothing's really changed for david and i i just feel sad for my dad okay from lulu fabric we have fabric we have paper and we have stitch so yeah right up my street they are so they'll be lovely i'll have a see have a think at what i can create tomorrow for you okay then my lovelies you all take care stay safe out there don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you tomorrow bye